Hey everybody, here with this new Whiplash figure from the Masterverse, New Eternia line. Um, I know he's a figure that's kind of been out for a minute for some people, had some access to him, and then early access for some of the toy channels that Mattel sent it out to him, gave him kind of an early release to review him. But I just wanted to check him out because he's one I've really been, <laughs> really been waiting for. I think he looked pretty cool. I tried to do my best not to peek and see much about him. But he looked really awesome from what I've seen. And from pictures and everything, I think he's going to be pretty awesome. I'm really into these bigger oversized figures. They call them the oversized figures in this line. Compared to like our standard figures. Have a smaller, just the regular buck. We've got a few of these oversized ones like Too Bad and oh, Beast Man. I'll probably bring a couple of those out in the regular figure later. Do some size comparisons. But we'll get into the artwork, stuff on the box. Then I'll open them up and check them out. All right, so right here we'll check them out side uh, side the box art, just kind of our standard look without all the armor, the new Eternia part to them. Just our normal whiplash that we're used to seeing. Just with this regular weapon, you got that spear and everything. Check out the back real quick. Okay, and here's the back of our artwork. Got them all armored up, more of the new Eternia style. Cross sail down here. Uh, these are actually the four figures that I reviewed, my first four reviews, so. Those have been out for a little bit, so I've been waiting on him for a while. Um, up here we got the bio. Maybe I'll bring it in a little bit. I was reading part of it earlier, talking about New Eternia and how he conquered it island by island. And I'm really curious. I know there's uh, some comic books out there, I guess. Some I think I'm going to have to check out, kind of learn more about what New Eternia is in those. Because island to island, it sounds like it's uh, something that's happened to Eternia where you had to start, start over. I have no idea, so... Check that out in the future, may get some more info, but I'll open them up now and we'll take a closer look at them. Alright, so here he kind of is outside the package. Uh, got his accessories and stuff here on the side. Had a little trouble standing him. He crouched over right now so he could stand properly. I think that's because I'm going to be adding on this accessory. He's got his tail on the snaps on, snaps onto the back of him. And that's going to give him a little more of that support in the back. Kind of go down up underneath him. I'll snap it on in a second and you'll see. So, you can stand them up me a little straighter without worrying about them falling over. Over his accessories real quick. Kind of this battle axe. Pretty pretty cool weapon. Um, not a whole lot of detail to it. I don't know if you can see up close there. It's got some little little dings to it. There, I think it focused a little more. Some little dings to it, but paint-wise or anything, it's just kind of a solid piece. And it's traditional spear that... We all know from like the vintage line, you got the same thing in Origins, so comes with that as well. And new for him, this torch. I've seen this in the pictures, and then actually seen um, from one of the pictures from the concept art. That's where that torch is going to come from. Some some of this armor too. Me, if I find a picture, I'll post it up over here and kind of show you real quick. Yeah, with this torch, also comes off as well, so pretty, pretty cool like that too, just by itself. And snaps on, it goes on there pretty far, I don't I think if you want, you don't have to put it on so far, it might look a little cooler, I think, up a little higher, but just so it doesn't cover all the aesthetics of that. And then the final thing is just the two, two fist hands you get. Kids don't want to go with the weapons. Pretty big dude. I think he can just knock some people out. So I'll get his armor off him, or I'll first put his tail on. Just show you guys that real quick. It just snaps in. It looks like the back here got a hole and pops right on. It's got like a bendy wire to it, so bend it back. Like I'm saying, I could probably get him up a little straighter now. Stands no problem. So I'll get him out of his armor and kind of set him up our traditional look too so you can take a look at that. Alright, and there he is. Just our vintage look. Just how we remember him without the armor or anything. Got that orange spear. So it was pretty cool like that. I think I'll bring in some other characters now. Set him up next to him so you can kind of see a size comparison before we take a final look at him. Alright, and here he is back in. Back armored up with 
two of our other oversized figures. Got the Beast Man, too bad. So, yeah, like I said, he stacks up pretty well with them. He's just as tall. Um, let's see if we remove his helmet. Yeah, he's. I mean, too bad he's got that extra. He's got that extra head that pops up a little farther too. But he's just about as tall as Beast Man. Same as the two bar part of the too bad. And then when I was putting his armor back on, man, I had the hardest time. That tail, getting his belt and stuff on, it's hot, a little sweaty, but man, just all the detail on him I was checking out. All these little bumps and everything from his whole tail, spine, all the way down, on his legs. I mean, really awesome job. And then he actually has like a scaly texture to him too on top of all that, so really a lot of great detail on him. Throw his helmet back on. Me out for a comparison to two. We'll take two bad out. Put our Vicor that we just got. So there's height wise with uh, Vicor on next to him. Yeah, bigger buck and everything. Not not a whole lot taller, but you can tell the difference just with this whole new buck and everything. It's really cool. I I really dig the big, thicker characters like this. Well, he's had something like from the very first vintage he has. There was something cool about him just because they were such big, thick figures. And same thing with like wrestling figures. Especially if you go back to like those Galoob, the big giant rubber ones. Just something about having that big bulky character being able to hold it in your hand. It's always been awesome to me. So I'll put him up on display, give him a little spin around, take one last look at him. Alright, so yeah, here he is, that Whiplash Eternia, new Eternia. Um... Last look at him, spin around, you guys check him out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Enjoying content, you know what you can do. You can like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. I always hate saying it because I know everybody knows already. So, thank you guys again. Uh, awesome time with this one. I'm going to enjoy putting him up on the shelf and having little battle scenes with him and some other characters. But, enjoy and have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much.